Hi, I'm Paul Fredericks. I'm a special ed teacher at Elmwood Park High School. I've held this position for 10 years. I've actually taught in the district for 25 years. I spent 15 years at the alternative program, uh, formerly known as Maple Park Academy, formerly known as Real Learning Center. Because I had specific disabilities at the time, in the 1970s, they really did not understand. Um, school was not really, it's, it's like putting a, um, a circle into a triangle and trying to fit in there. It just didn't work for some kids, and I was one of those kids that didn't happen to work for. I guess the easiest way to explain it is always feeling uh, different, feeling on the outside, feeling like everybody else could do something and you can't. And when you're a young kid and you're going through that, you're thinking, well, there must be something wrong with me. There must be something wrong with me. So learning was a struggle for me, and because it was a struggle and they didn't have interventions to kind of help me, it actually turned into behavior problems later on because I could not sit still because of the ADHD or because of the anxiety, and I could not learn because of the, the actual learning disability I had that they didn't know about at the time. So it, was, it made it quite difficult, uh, not only for, for myself, but also for the teachers. As a teacher today, I, I totally understand having a student like me in the classroom is, uh, takes a lot out of you. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to take in college, and that's when I went back to my old high school teacher at Maple Park Academy, Russell Dulce, and he said, well, listen, you, you know, you understand the special ed kids, why don't you become a special ed teacher? And it just seemed to fit. It just, you know, it made sense to me. Mr. Frederick, as a teacher, he's, he's a different type of human being. As a teacher, he's really helped me through problems, life situations, especially when I was down at my lowest. He help me with schoolwork to understand what I'm actually learning about. One of the things I want people to understand is um, just because you have a disability doesn't mean that it, could, it actually will, will disrupt your life unless you let it. You know, I, I never look at myself and say I'm a guy with a disability. I look at myself, uh, I say I'm a guy who's been miswired. And so for me, I learn differently than other people. It takes me a lot longer to learn something. I have to do stuff over and over again to get it right. And it's great to be around teachers who have the patience to let you fail, to let you struggle, to let you go slow until you get it, until you make that connection. Once you make the connection, then you're right where everybody else is, you know? And so that's the thing is that, you know, how do I get my students to believe that in themselves? So he knows what you're going through at times because of his past. He knows he's been a student, he's been kicked out, he's been, he's been through a lot. And he just knows what a student is going through, and he wants to make your high school experience worth it. I first met Paul, I think, when some of our students here at Elmwood Park High School were attending an alternative program, and Paul was one of their teachers, and I had a great first impression of Paul as far as his uh, relatability and just um, the connections that he made with his students. It's the most important thing to learn is they have to believe in themselves. And once I get them to that point where they believe in themselves, where we've, we've been successful and we've failed and we've looked at the failures and we attacked them and we, became, we made successes out of them, that's when this light goes on. It, 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 oh, I can learn. During the past years, like, I wasn't really myself, so he kind of helped me crack down my shell in a way. So if it wasn't for him, you know, I wouldn't be like who I am right now. And so that's really important for me to kind of work with the kids and be able to plant that seed that you are special, you have a purpose, and there's a place for you to fit in and, and, and be well. Um, and so education actually gave that to me because uh, I'm working with the kids that uh, the guys I hung around with when I was young. You know? So it's, it's a great thing. <laughs>